les hommes U17 en poursuite d'équipe. OK, notre deuxième équipe, ici, Québec, euh, numéro 7, lucky number 7. Again, a lot of these athletes in the team don't often work together. Some of them, it's their first time doing team pursuit. And as an FYI, we just had Olympic athlete, Kate O'Brien, deliver Tim Horton's coffee <laughs> to our officials. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> Kate is actually off to Hong Kong to the World Championships. Her and Amelia Walsh in the women's team sprint. They got silver at the World Cup just a few weeks ago in California. All of our national team athletes were here training at 6 a.m. before racing got underway here. Okay, so Team Quebec, check this out. They are now on pace with the first Ontario team. We'll see if they can work together and hold that pace throughout the remaining eight laps. All right, Zapata Cordoba now taking his pull. Brennan Hodgins. He's now taking his turn. Again, all athletes. They will take a turn or a pull, as we see here at the track. This team seems to be working really well together. Wow. Pretty solid. Mathias Guillaume, maintenant en tête. Mathias Guillemette, maintenant. Il a pris son tour. Maintenant avec Tristan Juston, maintenant en tête. Time set by Team Ontario was 3 minutes 35.77 seconds. Sorry, the, the time of the Team Ontario isn't actually registered on the screen. So I don't have those interval times for you. However, this team is really strong, working very well together. Matias taking another strong pull here, and there's the bell, one lap to go. In the second team to compete in the U17, all four of them are still going really strong. Zapata Cordoba now leading into the final home stretch. They're going to work together as a team and sprint it right down to the wire. 341.68. No.
Not enough to knock the Quebec team, the Ontario team, out of the top spot. But good enough for second place. Again, we're going to take the top two times into the gold medal round. Félicitations, les gars, pour la deuxième position. Again, we're going to.